Hello, my name is Tammy Jones. I'm here to share with you some new features from recent NetSuite releases. Let's get started. The first feature I'd like to share with you is the imported employee expenses. This allows the import of corporate or business card data to an imported expenses table where the employees can then use this information to create their expense reports more easily. Before release 2021.2, integration of credit card information was only available using a suite app for American Express and only for corporate cards. Release 2021.2 allowed integration for other cards and non-USD currencies, but it had to be custom plugins and scripting. Now in release 2022.1, any card, any currency can be imported using CSV import without having to connect directly with the card provider. To use this functionality, the expense report feature must be enabled. The configuration that is required is to have the expense report form display three new fields, corporate card, account for corporate card expense, and corporate card by default. Only corporate card is required. The other two are optional. You also must create saved CSV imports for each of the credit card provider types that you want to import. We'll see that in a minute. Let's go to the demo. To see the imported employee expenses table, you navigate to transactions, employees, imported employee expenses. You can see here, there is no data currently for any employees or any credit card information. Let's go ahead and take a look at our import file from American Express. And actually, I'm going to show you both um, files. I have one for Visa and one for American Express. And you can see that the layouts are very different. And that's why you have to create a CSV import for each version. So at the top is the Visa and the bottom here is the American Express. You'll see the difference here is the header names in some cases are different. The, in the American Express, the field is called amount and in Visa, they have a debit and a credit column. You also see with American Express that they provide a category. The great thing about that is you can use these categories to automatically assign your GL account information to the transaction. So you'll see here, um, if American Express provides these categories, you can map them to your expense categories within NetSuite. So for example, if we look at airfare, that's the category that matches the Amex file, and it's going to map to GL account 6430 expenses, T&E airfare. So it will automatically assign that, and then the employee will not have to assign it to the transaction. So let's go back to our files. The other difference you're gonna see is this reference field. American Express will provide a unique identifier to each transaction. And we'll definitely need to use that information um, on the import because it will require a transaction ID that is unique. So that is why if you look at the visa file, I added a reference column and I, I numbered them so that there's a unique identifier in my my methodology here was just to do what month it was, that it was V for Visa, what month it was, and then a, a numeric sequence. 
In addition, we want to import these records with the status of ready. So I added status column to both of these files and put the word ready in there. Now let's go ahead and look at our saved CSV imports for these files. So to do that, we're going to go with setup, import, export, save CSV imports. And you'll see here I have one for each of the card types, one for American Express, one for Visa. So let's go ahead and import the American Express file. The table we're going to import data into is um, under the employees and the record type is imported employee expense. So I'll select my file. Since I'm doing Amex, I'm going to pull in the Amex file. We're going to add these records into that table. And then you'll see here I've pre-mapped everything um, when I created this save CSV. Um, you remember the uh, MX file called the amount bet field amount. And then I'm putting, I'm setting these to be US dollar. Here I'm mapping my category, date. I'm importing these as corporate card expenses. This card member field is the name of the employee that charged the expense and it will be assigned to their expense report. And then we've got the reference field, which is mapped to both the transaction ID and the external ID. The description of the expense is being mapped to memo, and then we're setting this sort, source type to American Express, and then bringing in the status. So let's go ahead and run this. And there's only a few records, so it processes pretty quickly. And you'll see that 10 of 10 records were imported. So let's go ahead and look at the employ imported employee expenses that we just imported. And you'll see here the 10 transactions that we imported and Five were for Catherine and five for Abby. They're American Express. And, um, and then they're here ready. You can actually go into this, this, uh, this session and add it directly to your expense report from here after you select. But the easier way would be for the employees as they're going in to enter their expense reports. I'm in the demo environment. So today my name is Catherine Glass. And you'll see that right here, there's five imported expenses for Catherine. So, but before we're gonna, before we do that, I'm going to go back to the save CSV imports and I'm going to import my visa transactions. So the process is exactly the same. I'm going to pull in Visa. I'm going to add these records. And the mapping is similar, except for now, instead of amount fields, we're using that debit column, member name, is, is, was the same. And then I, I assigned us a, a unique identifier for reference. So I used that as well. And then, um, but there is, you'll notice there's no category. So let's go ahead and run that. And you'll see all seven of my records came in successfully. So we'll go back one more time.
So I selected mine this time, which will only show um, Catherine Glass's employee expenses. And you'll see here the difference of the American Express versus the visa source type. And then the expense category is, is missing. But the records are imported and ready to be pulled into my expense report. So let's go ahead and do that. And now you see there's nine expenses for me to import. And so I'm gonna go ahead and import those. Now this message here looks like an error message and it really isn't. It's more, it's meant to be a warning to the employee that these records, these line numbers were imported into the system and they may or may not have gotten all of the, the values defined that are required for, your, for their expense report. So this is just really more of a reminder that just because you're importing them doesn't mean that you don't have to update some of the fields. And that's exactly true for these visa expenses because the category was not assigned. So that the employee is gonna to have to go in here and assign one of these categories so that the gets GL account assigned. So let's go ahead and do that here. All right, so now we have that and let's go ahead and save our expense report. And so the expense report is saved and now it's being routed for approval. And that's the end of that feature. Let's move on to the next one. So this feature deserves a little honorable mention. It was actually released in 2021.2 in the supply allocation functionality. There's two new allocation processing options using revenue optimization and using gross profit optimization on sales orders. This provides the ability to allocate existing supply to sales orders to maximize revenue or gross profit. This is especially helpful during these times where companies are experiencing a lot of supply chain challenges. With that, this completes my feature review. Thank you for joining me today.